This is a two-speed automatic gearbox. I've made a few versions of these before. On the first one, the gear switching happened off of an old LEGO differential. The biggest reason I did that was because I wanted to use the odd extra gear on the end. But it turned out that it shifted really smoothly. Then I made one that used a rubber band instead of a spring for upshifting. The next one was a more linear and compact design. This one's even smaller than those, has less internal resistance, and is easier to get shifting correctly. But before I explain how it works, let's look at it in action going over this hill. First it'll shift down as it hits the hill, and then it'll shift up as it goes over the peak of the hill. And let's check out how it operates. First let me take the gears off and we'll look at the shifting mechanism. Normally when you turn the axle on one side of a differential the other side will turn, but if there's resistance on the output the differential will try to spin. By putting the geared shift arm on the differential the resistance on the output is transferred through the tan gear to push on the axle that does the shifting. I found that if I put a little plastic spacer in between these two gears it would shift more reliably. Here's some slow-mo of it shifting. The tension on this spring will change how it shifts, so if the spring is harder, it'll take more resistance to change gears. The gear combinations I've been using make a low gear ratio of 3 to 1, the high gear is 1 to 1. You can use some different gear combinations for different output ratios. Here's a 1 to 1 and a 5 to 1 combination. Don't forget, if you don't like the spring rubbing on stuff, you can add a washer or what I did here was I added a bearing. Thanks for watching.